Very interesting plot reveals in this episode of Sailor Moon Crystal. We find out about the Dark Kingdom, the Moon Kingdom, we find out more about Sailor V, we find out about more about the Legendary Crystal, and we find out about this grand or great ruler that is the main final boss of the enemy side. So, I like this episode a lot. There was some great exposition in this episode that really it piqued my interest for Sailor Moon. For one thing, it was about the Legendary Crystal that really got me interested, even more invested into this series. When it's stated in this episode that the Legendary Crystal can blow up a planet, I'm like, what the fuck? Are we? We're actually dealing with, like, planet size, like, destruction scale, pretty much now. So, we find out that this crystal can blow up an entire planet, and that it can happen to Earth. So, right there... Very shocking reveal. I did not expect the legendary crystal to be that strong. I thought the legendary crystal could make you like godlike or immortal or stuff like that. But I didn't think it'd be able to let you destroy a planet. So that was really shocking to find out that the legendary crystal has the power capable of blowing up a planet. So I could see why the moon kingdom actually wants to get the legendary crystal. Because it's a possibility that if that crystal is obtained by the wrong hands, it can blow up the moon and kill the moon kingdom. Especially that's why Luna wants to get the crystal. Now, Tuxedo Mask, we really don't know why he wants the crystal out of everything. We don't know exactly how he found out about the legendary crystal. We don't know why he wants it, what he wants to use it for, but from what I could see is he's on the good side. Luna's, you know, thoughts of him being on the wrong side seem to be wrong. It seems like he has his uh, priority straight, and it seems like something else is going on in the background. It looks like next week's episode is going to be focusing on him, Tuxedo Mask, and getting to see his backstory. Now, I just want to say this right now. After watching this episode and hearing what Tuxedo Mask said in this episode, it instantly made me think of one specific person. Let me recite what he said. He says, I don't have any powers. I'm like a normal human being, but you have powers. You can save them, Sailor Moon. And then instantly when he said that, and I'm like, he's Batman. Tuxedo Mask is Batman. He is seriously fucking Batman. He has a freaking cape, okay? He disguises himself and tries to fight crime pretty much disguised. Tuxedo Mask equal Batman. That's exactly what it is. So, besides that, the episode had a couple other interesting things going on. For instance, Sailor V. It's been hinted at since the very beginning that Sailor V is like a Sailor Guardian. It actually has been there. The foreshadowing has been there. And with this episode, we get more about Sailor V. Sailor V has been talked about in the news a while back. And, you know, it is a real person as we know of. And so something's making me believe that Sailor V is going to be the actual other Sailor Guardian. Because in the opening credits, if you look, you'll see another Sailor Guardian that has blonde hair like Usagi. So I want to take a quick guess. And with the details I've been given... I'm just going to quickly state that Sailor V stands for Sailor Venus, and that most likely Sailor V is going to be popping up very soon, because Sailor V is, you know, has the character design just like that girl in the opening with the, you know, blonde hair next to Usagi. So, Sailor V, probably Sailor Venus, and most likely is going to join the Sailor Guardian team. So, now that I got that across... The episode had some great animation. I love the way the animation looked. It was beautiful. And even though they're reusing some scenes, especially when it comes to the transformation scenes, I still like the transformation scenes. It's just, it's dazzling getting to see how Toei Animation puts so much budget into those transformation scenes. But I do like how they're displaying them, switching back and forth to each individual character as their transformation sequence continues on. That's a great way to use a transformation scene instead of, you know, showing each individual transformation scene of each each characters. Like I said two weeks ago, congrats Toei Animation, you're doing a good job with the transformations. And so, can't wait for next week's episode. I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen and see who this grand ruler is. Get to see more about Tuxedo Mask and see if he really does equal Batman. If his parents are dead, I'm just going to say this now. If his parents are dead, I'm going to say that is fucking Batman. That is so Batman. If his parents are dead, it's Batman. So anyways, you all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.